the board this morning elected a new chairperson for the Board of Trustees, so uh, going into 2011, Trustee Colette Machado will be our new chairperson. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's a, a great, uh, it, and it was a very smooth transition. Uh, Trustee Apoliona uh, felt that it was time to, to, for new leadership, so it, hand, it happened in a very orderly manner. I think that's a, a real testament to the organization, and we look forward to wonderful things in 2011. I am uh, reflective of the last uh, nine, going on ten years of serving as chair of the Office of Foreign Affairs because, uh, as was stated this morning when we organized the board um, back in 2000, in December of 2000, um, you know, OHA was a whole different place uh, in terms of uh, its leadership, its membership, the community, our community was in a different place. It's gratifying to know that um, given the privilege of leading the board, leading the Office of Hawaiian Affairs for nearly 10 years, um, that where we begin a new chapter or a new phase, uh, which is today at the end of the decade, uh, we are in a very strong and um, always room for improvement, no issue about that. We're in a very stronger place. Our leadership is very promising. And so the, with the challenges and issues that we continue to, to um, uh, confront, some that we see and some that we don't know yet what they are. Uh, I'm confident that there's enough stability at the Board of Trustees of OHA. Our co coalition will continue to lead the board based on the election of Trustee Machado uh, this morning. And, you know, this is not so much a us and them thing. It's really about trying to do the right thing for the right reason in the right way. As the new chair, I look forward to implementing certain aspects that we have not been able to settle. Perhaps the the number one on the list for us in the state of Hawaii is the settlement of the $200 million ceded land revenue issue. We have a committed governor. I believe that he has pledged to work with OHA. We have to uh, open doors and hearts at the legislature, both in the House and the Senate. And the larger issue is the status of the Akaka Bill, the Native Hawaiian Reorganizational Act. Uh, we were unsuccessful for almost eight years maybe 10, I lost track of two years. But we're hopeful that we may have an opportunity to begin to build a nation for our people. Of course, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs resources, all of our funds and the ceded land, land revenues that we receive on an annual basis will be part of that nation's capital. So we're ready to do that. And we're ready to work towards establishing a forming of a coming together of those that would be willing to work. And it's been a decade now, I've been on the board for about 10 years. And I think this year is going to be the most challenging with the status of the, the Akaka Bill, which uh, didn't get through the Congress. And we're hopeful that uh, we can work on that and try to get that through. And the bigger question, of course, is what do we do uh, to protect the entitlements, which the Akaka Bill was supposed to have helped us to protect these entitlements. So that's going to be the challenge for this coming decade is how do we protect Hawaiian entitlements so that we can do the work that we do.